welcome back everyone thank you so much for stopping on by i've been noticing some more subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers out there thank you so much for checking out the channel and checking out this video i appreciate each and every one of you and for today we'll be running another new pokemon it's been about gosh maybe like three or four uh, videos in a row that we're running a new Pokemon. Before I get to that, I just want to show you guys. So we've had some ups and downs as I've been testing out all these new Pokemon. So, you know, we're in rank 6 now, so it's not bad. But uh, 44 out of 75, so, you know, we've we've been up and down. Uh, for the most part, we've been about uh, 500. Uh, pretty much win 2, lose 3, win 3, lose 2. So it's been like that for about 2 days now. So here we go. So we're going to test out uh, Ferrothorn as you see there in the middle. I evolved mine and had to use 49 rare candies to get the second move. Totally worth it. I want to show you guys how well Ferrothorn can perform. So no problem on my end. And we're running uh, Shadow Machamp in the lead this time. PV Poke has it listed as uh, number one in the lead position. So let's see what it's all about. I've been running it in the, in the back, um, trying to catch people off guard. But let's try test it out in the lead position. And of course, uh, in the back we also have Azumarill, our tank. So let's get right to it. And you know, I'm still fairly new to Ferrothorn, so please give me some uh, room for error there, uh, as I'm just learning it right now. I never had one before. That uh, the one I evolved yesterday was my very first Ferrothorn ever. So I've been kind of running some Sims on it. Uh, and the nice thing about Ferrothorn is that um, they're obviously very strong against the zoom rolls and that's the goal to kind of align it with a zoom roll mac muffing standing in our way in game one let's see who we get probo pass a beautiful lead let's see let's wait for the swap look at how much damage that's doing and here we go it's not doesn't take very long and we get a ferrothorn and zoom roll matchup right off the bat and ferrothorn will take neutral to these uh, ice beams by the way Let's go ahead and throw the power up. I don't know why they're over farming. Um, because ice beams are the only thing that can actually hit us for neutral. So let's see if we can get a shield out of them. We don't. So that's alright. So let's go ahead and let a charge move come in. We should beat the zoom roll to another charge move. And let's see. Because I don't want to lose too much health on my ferrothorn unnecessarily. Let's go ahead and throw the power up again. Totally all right if they use a shield on this, and they don't. All right, that's fine. Let's see if the Probo Pass comes back in. As I'm sure they want to avoid the Machamp. Oh, they have two Pokemon that are weak to uh, Machamp. Oh, this is gonna be a very good matchup for Machamp <laughs> and uh, Azumarill too. Actually, Azumarill will do well against both both Pokemon. So I think it was just a matchup uh, difference. So let's go ahead and let the Umbreon take us out. I actually might just swap into the Machamp. Uh, I'm trying to think. Mm, I'm going to swap into Azumarill actually. I want Azumarill to have some play. And they're going to come with the Probo Pass, but yeah, they're not looking so hot either. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let one charge move come in. It's going to be the Thunderbolt, right? I just want to protect my uh, Machamp because we know the Machamp is the money right now. Let's go ahead and throw the Ice Beam. I don't expect them to hold on to their shields much longer as this uh, matchup is looking pretty good for us. So let's see what they do. Yeah, there's the first shield. Perfect. And let's go ahead and do throw another Ice Beam. Right now it's just about doing damage and getting shields. So even if they don't shield, I'll still do some damage at least. Um, yeah, not very effective. That's fine. You guys want all the Pokemon to be low enough for Machamp to just come in and sweep <laughs> so yeah we're not going to invest any shields none of their fast moves will hurt machamp so we know where we're at in this game let's go ahead and switch, 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 <laughs> switch into machamp right now and finish off that probo pass probo pass was a double week two fighting by the way let's go ahead and throw the cross chop keep this uh, competitive so shadow machamp in the lead so so far looking good I, I, I will admit though that uh, over the weekend I had a lot of issues running into bad leads and then bad counters in the back. Uh, so I might have been on the wrong side of the algorithm or I might have just been kind of testing out a new team and not really performing as well. So yeah, you know. So awesome. 
Shadow Machamp in the lead. We pick up game one. Very, very nice. And by the way, we're um, fairly close to game, uh, rank seven right now. So if we do well enough in this set, we might have a chance of uh, getting a rating up because I think you get your first rating in rank seven. Oh, please correct me if, if I'm wrong. I think that's when the rating first arrived. So who do we get in the lead here? Meganium. So, you know, I'm not uh, too familiar of who wins in the lead position, but I know these cross chops will hurt a lot. So, um, so let's see if they shield. I really hope they don't because if they don't, it won't take them out, but they'll be low enough and they do shield. Okay. So we will mirror shields as we can get ahead on energy. I mean, we can get to the, our charge move faster. We actually have one fast move in already for this cross chop. So, so I guess uh, Machamp is a favorable matchup against Meganium. If they double shield, I will probably uh, return the favor, to be honest, and take my chances. They don't. Okay, sweet. And Machamp still has half health. And let's see if we can try to get to this rock slide. That would be beautiful if we can. These rock slides will actually almost like one hit knock out the Alone Marowak. So we can, which is huge. This will force the shield, you would think. Yeah, so they have a ton of energy. But I keep that in mind. And we definitely have to <laughs> make sure it avoids the Ferrothorn. So let's come in with the lone, not lone, <laughs> the regular Azumarill. I don't think there is a lone Azumarill. So let's let one charge move come in. This is a fire spin lone Marowak, by the way. So they'll have to get to another Shadow Ball. And we have a shield, remember? So let's see what they come in with. Oh, they come with Lapras, which, uh, it's pretty good, actually. I had to think about it for a second, because <laughs> I haven't seen this matchup, of course, being near the Ferret Thorn, but yeah, this is actually a pretty good matchup for us. Let's go ahead and get to this Power Whip, which will be super effective. Yeah, and we can probably just farm this down and have a charge move ready for the Lone Marowak, right? So we'll resist the, uh, we'll resist any water attacks, but we're neutral to the, oh, Skull Bash, wow. And that's resisted too, but their defense increased, which might even be better because it helps us farm maybe a little bit more. So I'm pressing the thunder right away. <laughs> uh, I forget who has CNP. Uh, once again, just need a Ferret Thorn here. And Ferret Thorn doing a ton of damage there. They're gonna farm a little bit, which is okay with us. We almost, we have a charge move, I believe. Um, yeah, we do. So it's got to shield this once. I hope they don't have two Shadow Balls stored. I don't think they could. This could be a Bone Club, and it is. So let's make, not risk anything and <laughs> throw the Ice Beam right now. Yeah, that little Marowak could be trouble for this team. Um, so if you don't align it with uh, Azumo, it could be tough. But the Shadow Machamp, like I said, with the Rock Slide, it, it's almost a one-hit knockout if you can land it. So good game to my opponent there. And once again, Shadow Machamp helps us win the lead. Yeah, we gotta keep on running it in the lead position if this is how it's gonna be. Of course, you gotta run, uh, avoid uh, Psychic Pokemon and you have to avoid Zoom Rolls. But even against like a Skarmory, it actually wins in the one shield from what I, I've seen. So we get Meganium again, which we know how to play it now. So let's, let's go for it again. I wonder if I, I'm playing the same opponent again. So let's go for the cross chop right away, force their decision. Let's see. Let's see what they do. This time they shield again. <laughs> and they're over farming. Are they looking to swap? Hmm. Or are they gonna invest double shield? If they double shield, I think I will double shield as well. So so the moves, the ball's in their core. <laughs> so they do double shield because we can essentially farm her down at some point and they swap into a zoom roll and here comes the ferret thorn again and they have no shields you guys no shields at all so they get to a charge move first which is okay we're gonna let this go uh the meganium has a ton of energy so we need to be wary of that but we're gonna farm up so let's get to the power whip i believe we should get to another one uh, before they get to another Ice Beam. So, yeah, Ferrothorn is like a perfect Pokemon for a Zoom Roll. Let's go ahead and throw the Power Whip again and then see if the Meganium comes back or whoever comes back. We still have two shields, keep that in mind. So, down goes the Zoom Roll. There you go, Ferrothorn. 
yeah, that's what they're built for, taking out all those Azumarils. I think Azumarils probably are run and if I had to guess, probably like 75% of the teams out there. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm trying to get to a Thunder if I can. And we do, so perfect. And I'm going to be a little bit worried about that Meganium with a ton of energy though. <laughs> so let's stick, just stick in here for a little bit, force them to do a charge move. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the Ferrothorn come, uh, 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 take it, uh, be taken down and I'm going to come in with a zoom roll, expecting potentially a swap though. So I got to be wary of that. So let's go ahead and build up and yeah. so. They probably have two charge moves ready, which is fine because keep in mind Machamp can take they can handle the, the Registeel. And I'm gonna swap into Machamp right now. Catch one charge move. Um I'm gonna go ahead and let Machamp go down. This could be <laughs> a little dangerous, but I'm liking where we're at. If as long as we can farm down this uh zoom roll, I mean uh, the Meganium, we're fine, and we just need to get to a hydro pump and yeah, see. Yeah, I, I didn't want to risk anything and, you know, unnecessarily burn a shield. So we actually did a great swap there. And yeah, we're looking good here. We're just going to bubble down this Registeel and my opponent will take a bow and exit. So yeah, another win, another lead wand for us. We run into another Meganium. And once again, the Meganium's shield. And that's what Machamp does. They pressure shields early. So I'm learning that right now, you guys. So. I've been trying to convince everyone <laughs> to put your shadow Pokemon in the back and potentially be able to like farm down a low Pokemon, a low health Pokemon that is, um, and, or maybe just surprise a lot of Pokemon in the back when shields are down. Um, but yeah, and yeah, if this is uh, working out for me, <laughs> I might just keep him in the lead. So we get Skarmory here and, and this is a, it's a very close match. That's all I can say. I, I don't want to jinx myself and you'll be surprised because you would think that Machamp should get shredded apart, right? So let's go ahead and throw the cross chop now. Um, it's just that we can do a ton of neutral damage with uh, Machamp. So let's go ahead and they shield, okay. We get at least one shield. I would love to get to one more cross chop and we can't. So that's how close it can be. So we have, um, we do have the advantage in shields, but we lose lead there. And that might be, it was so close when I looked it up on PV Poke um, that uh, it was very odd actually. No, maybe the simulation was different because it's very odd that the Scar, oh gosh, yeah, them getting to a charge move is, is pretty significant there. So let's go ahead and shield this. And it's a Brave Bird, oh gosh, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> and it's a CMP, so the Skarmory can't back out, I hope. Uh, there is this uh, this bug apparently which allow people to back out still even after there's a CMP. Let's see what they come in with. It's a shift tree, so let's swap on a charge. Can we do it? We can't. All right, that's okay. Let's just go ahead and take a, a foul play. So this one's a little more trickier. Um, so foul plays hurt, as you can see. And yeah, this isn't uh, the shift tree in the back is not a good Pokemon you want to run into. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna shield another foul play. Yeah, they have to get two foul plays to take us out, and uh, we're not looking so good in this one, which is okay. I mean, you're gonna run into these uh, weird teams in the back, and there's really just nothing you can really do. So they take it, uh, no problem. And they can probably take us out with, uh, well, they no, actually they probably need a, a foul play to take us out as we'll be heavily resisting the, the leaf blade. So we're at least going to get their last shield here. And they're probably farming up though, unfortunately, to probably have a leaf blade ready for the zoom roll. So they're there. So my opponent played it well. And yeah, I got to keep on, uh, Keep an eye out for that lead matchup still to see how to play the Machamp next time. Uh, well, there's actually not much we could do. We were just <laughs> firing away, right? <laughs> they, it, keep in mind, Machamp is not only kind of glassy, but being a shadow Pokemon, uh, it was just getting shredded apart by the the fast move damage. So good game to my opponent there. And let's run in. Let's see what uh, our fifth game will present to us. Pachico RS. So, so far, the goal has been to try to showcase um, Feridorn, and we have 
that's exactly what we have shown, uh, sh shown right here. So, so far so good. Yeah, I, I definitely will keep on running the um, Ferradorn. Yeah, because I, I've been having a lot of issues with the zoom roll. So if you have two, definitely recommend it for you guys. So let's see what they come in with. They come in with Cresselia and Ferradorn will resist the pretty much everything, I, I think. <laughs> Yeah, they'll they'll resist the grass knot. They'll resist the the moon blast. They'll resist the psycho cut. Yeah, Ferrothorn has ten different uh, resistances, by the way. Um, so we're in a very favorable matchup here. <laughs> so they're not they not only wall Azumarill's, but they wall Cresselia's in an even stronger manner. They're really Cresselia's are really just out of mercy. And I'm experiencing some lag there. I'm just gonna, I'm allowing them to uh, potentially get to another uh, charge move because I want to farm up. Um, just gotta be worried that the moon blast could lower our attack, but I think they reduced the chance of that significantly, so I'm not too concerned. And let's throw the, ooh, gosh, the lag once again. And I don't, I hope with all these charge moves, my opponent won't be able to swap out. That's my concern, along with the lag, is not helping. So let's go ahead and, and oh we, gosh, the, the uh, lag is really playing a role now. Uh, so let's see what we do here. So yeah, not very effective. Yeah, the lag, hopefully it won't impact us too much. Let's go ahead and throw a cross trap right away and force a hand. So we know we can use the zoom roll to take out the Galarian stun fist, no problem. So let's just worry about this Cherum. We still have two shields and I'm just firing away. Just to make sure that um, I don't end up uh, <laughs> losing this game because, yeah. So let's see. Weather Ball. They might have another one and I might be willing to shield it one more time. But I'm going to throw the Cross Trap. I don't want to risk anything. I, I like where I'm at. Cresselia will probably come back in. And that's fine. So down goes the Cherum. They still have holding on to one shield for dear life. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let them throw off a... Uh, charge move if they will but they won't so i will go ahead and throw the cross chop cross chop will be resisted but it's a shadow machamp so i'll still do enough damage i think to take it out so this shield and there's some more lag i don't know if you guys can tell viewing it <laughs> but it's definitely evident <laughs> trust me you guys on that one so, so i'm gonna come in with uh the fair thorn again and go ahead and just finish it off i don't want to play any more games <laughs> So, the Galarian Stunfist will come back in after this. I'm going to switch right into my zoom roll. No need to wait. Oh gosh, trying to switch. Don't want to give them any any doubt that they can still come back and win, <laughs> hopefully. We still have one shield, so, so we're looking pretty good, I think. So hopefully it doesn't impact the game. Yeah, Earthquake only takes half our health, so they have to get to two rock slides, I think, to get us out and yeah let's just shield this up and one more fast move and we'll get to the hydro pump so yeah another lead one with shadow machamp so i'm debating whether to sh make this video the shadow machamp lead video or the fair thorn showcase so because both of them have been excellent in this set so let's go ahead and finish off the glaring stunfish finish off this laggy fifth game and yeah an awesome awesome set yeah i was running this team yesterday and like i said at the beginning of this video wasn't performing too well probably because i was just learning the team for the first time but also maybe it was having a zoom roll on the lead instead everyone's kind of anticipating it now so it's a little bit harder to kind of catch people off guard and yeah so maybe shao machamp will be able to win more leads for me because my goal is to win leads and then expect my opponent to have an azum roll in the back and that has been kind of the case so and then ferrothorn will come in and and wall it <laughs> or cresselia even better so let's see so we're claiming the rank okay let's see 2301 so that's our starting rank you guys uh which is awesome i'll take it because last season i started off around 1900 <laughs> and i don't think i reached 2300 until premier cup <laughs> Or somewhere around there. I might have reached it briefly in Ultra and then fell right back down or something. So 2301. So just so you guys know, 48 out of uh, 80 games will get you a 2301 rating. And I heard that it's hard to move up and down 
now so the client i don't know if that affects the climb to rank 10 but we'll see so thank you so much you guys for checking out the channel i appreciate each and every one of you and if you truly like this video i i would love it if you drop the like comment and subscribe it would make my day and i hope everyone out there have a great day take care everyone